Okay, so now we're going to take a look at step number seven, motor setup. So step number one is first make sure that there's no propellers on your quadcopter. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our transmitter on, right? And also, let's also add the extra step here of opening the mission planner and connecting to it, just to make sure everything's going right. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because it, as we're trying to arm it, we want to make sure if there's any errors and catching those errors, if any, apply. So it's just going to get these parameters here. So we'll also need a battery to get started. Okay, as soon as that's ready to go, I'm going to be on just the main flight data. And now all I'm going to do is just plug in the uh, battery to the quadcopter here. Wait for the tones. And now I'm just going to hold it down to the right until it says armed, hopefully. Okay, so it's really not showing anything. Let's just double check our radio calibration, see what's going on here. Oh, it says pre arm check, fail safe, throttle value. So let's go back to our initial setup and our radio calibration. So if I go here, I can see our throttle is working. Everything's working. The pitch is working. And the yaw is going the right way. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we can also check on the controller, we can check the arm and disarm switch here. Alright. Okay, yeah, so let's go back, yeah, let's go back to the flight data and try to arm it again one more time. Just count to about what should we say five seconds? 1001, 1002, 1003. 1004, 1005. Okay, so it says again, pre arm check, uh, fail safe throttle value. So for some reason, throttle value is not quite working correctly. So what I'm going to do is go back to our, my initial setup. I'm going to run my radio calibration one more time. So we <clears throat> do the calibration. Okay, make sure all switch our stream positions. And I'm just going to move the sticks up and down. several times in a row. I'm also going to move the stick here, like that. I'm going to click when done. Make the throttle down. It's okay. So channel 1, which is our throttle, 1095, 1080. Okay, let's go back to flight data. Check one more time. Try to arm it. And now, oh, now the motor starts spinning. Okay, so so this is part of our motor calibration here. Let me just tip the camera down. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but basically each of the motors are spinning. But what I want to do is check the motor um, rotation. Okay, so it just disarmed uh, to fail safe. Let me make this screen a little Try that one more time. So I'm going to di re disconnect the battery, reconnect. So yeah, okay. Going to arm by going down to the right, and now the motor starts spinning. I, I'm just going to check and make sure that the the motors are turning into each other on both sides, and they are. So that means I'm, I'm correctly calibrated. And now, oh, it'll automatically disarm because I didn't give it any user input. Right. So let's just check that one more time. Unplug it. Replug it. Way. Turn the camera a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do down to the right, arm, and then down to the left, the disarm. So you can see there's a little bit of a dis delay, but that's okay. We just got to get used to that. All right, let's minimize this. And that's basically it for motor setup. Let's just go through the rest of these steps. Oh, unplug the battery here. And let's see what else do we have. So all right, now the motors are spinning, we'll set the correct direction for each motor. Right, so basically, the directions of the motors um, 
are going to change. So you might need to use this handy little diagram right here, yeah, just in case, right? But or you can check it like I did, make sure those bullets are spinning toward each other. If you're looking at the front, so you can see that this uh, clockwise goes in, the counterclockwise goes into the front of the quad. And if we need to change it, what we can do is simply um, change the two connections of the wires. So for example, on this step eight, we can see to reverse the spin, we would just move like this, um, um, change the black and blue wire here. All right, and that's it for our motor, what we call this motor setup. Thank you.